Hey followers, it's Kendra Cook here at the headquarters of the core training and I have your hashtag find out Friday tip of the week. My question for you today is are you holding your team accountable? I know sometimes when we have smaller teams we get in the friend zone and we have a hard time separating boss and friendship. So I want to give you three tactics today that will really help you hold your team accountable. First and foremost is you have to have a daily team meeting. Uh, what that means is you have to figure out who's on first, what leads came in, who's doing what, what are our deadlines. Make sure that you empower the team, spread out the assignments, and then everybody goes to work. The second thing is you need to teach them to track everything. So whether they each have a report card that they turn in at the end of the week or a greatness tracker, you gotta make sure that you're holding them accountable and you're tracking their activities. The third thing is, is at the end of the day or the end of the week, you need a wrap up email. What did they do for the day or what did they do for the week? So if you get a call after hours or on the weekend, you can skim through an email grab the information and give it to the client quickly. The last thing you wanna to have to do is chase down an employee after hours or on the weekends to get that information. So accountability is key for you to hold the team accountable, but it also holds you accountable to the client should something arise and you need to get the information quickly. So I hope that helps you guys today. If you're sitting on the sidelines and you're looking for a coach, uh, if you're a realtor or lender, we wanna be your coach, give us a call, 1-800-660-6670. If you're looking for an event, to grab a bunch of tactics to survive this market as it changes and corrects itself. Let us know that too on our website. You can visit thecoretraining.com to get signed up today. August 5th, I'll see you at the Mega.